child. You know, when I'm having people for dinner, I just hate not to be with them practically all the time. And that's one reason for having tabletop cookery. And so I've planned what I consider a really nifty dinner for four, an intimate one, which features steak Diane that's cooked in a chafing dish right at the table. And I'm going to have a cold first course, a ceviche of scallops with fresh artichoke bottoms. And then with the steak, real mashed potatoes made out of actual potatoes, which is a rare thing, fresh peas, and a marvelous way of shelling them in a machine. And then for dessert, we're going to have my brand new super duper chocolate cake, whose name is, ah, here it is, <clears throat> Le Gâteau Victoire au Chocolat Mousseline, or chocolate mousse dessert cake. And this chocolate cake is made out of one pound of chocolate and whipped cream and rum and eggs. And here are the eggs. <coughs> Beaten up in a, my super duper machine. And this, if you're going to beat whole eggs, which these are, I've got six whole eggs and one half cup of sugar in here and you want to beat them until they really form the ribbon. And this is a real illustration of the ribbon. You see, when you let them fall off a beater, they make the ribbon which holds its shape. And then we have chocolate here. And this is one whole pound of chocolate, or 450 grams. And this is, I have 14 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and two ounces of unsweetened chocolate melted in one quarter cup of dark Jamaican rum and one quarter cup of strong coffee. And I think the best way to melt chocolate is to have a pan of boiling water, take it off the heat, put your chocolate pan in and cover it. And in about five minutes, it's all soft and you stir it up and it becomes this beautiful silken mass, which is just the way it should be. And now, while the chocolate is milking and the eggs are beating, you want to prepare your cake pan. And for this recipe, you want a 10-cup pan. And I notice that most pans don't tell you how much they hold. This one is a 9 inches in diameter and 2 inches deep. And so if you want to know how much it holds, you fill it cup by cup. And then what I do is scrape it on the back of the pan, so I always know this is a 10-cup pan. Because if you have a pan that is <clears throat> too, too small in capacity, you can make your cake and it'll rise up and then spill out over the oven. So if you have to have a choice of a slightly too small pan or a slightly too big pan, get the pan that's slightly too big and then you won't have any trouble. Now this is buttered, and I have a piece of wax paper that's buttered in there also. And then it's to be floured. And <clears throat> this cake came about because I was experimenting around with a very famous chocolate cake that was made in New York in the 1930s, which had a pound of chocolate and four eggs and one tablespoon of flour in it. And everybody tried to make the cake, but the person who invented it would never give out the recipe. So I was trying around with it. And then I came up with a whole different kind of a cake, which has the whipped cream in it. And it doesn't have any flour. The only flour it has is right here in this pan. So it's, in a way, it's a kind of a, kind of a custard. And it has one cup, or one quarter liter, or one half pint, of heavy whipping cream chilled and whipped into chantilly, or lightly whipped cream. There, that just holds in the whip and that sort of softly whipped cream, just the way it's supposed to be. And 
I forgot to put in the vanilla, so I'll beat it into the chocolate. Exactly one tablespoon of vanilla, which that is. <coughs> now, we're <coughs> using a great big rubber spatula, the chocolate gets folded into these beautiful beaten eggs. I'll refresh your memory on that. That was a pound of chocolate and a quarter cup of, of rum and a quarter cup of coffee and beat, fold it into six eggs that have been beaten with one half cup of sugar. That's very e it's a really very easy recipe. And then when the chocolate is almost folded in, in goes the cream. Another thing I find about the beating these whole eggs is I set the bowl in hot water first and stirred it around until the eggs were tepid. And then they beat up faster and you get more volume too. Then of course beating cools them down again. And there's your that folding technique. It's sort of down and out and around. I think this is, if, if you've just begun to cook, I think the folding is something that you have to do a little bit of practicing on. The thing is to do it rapidly and courageously. And you see now that's fully folded in. It's better to fold a little bit less than a little bit too much. And then into your pan. This is a round pan, but you can do the cake in a square pan. As a matter of fact, I, you'll see one come out of the oven in a square pan. Doesn't make any difference the size as long as the, it is a 10 cup pan. And you have all of that nice chocolate which you can save for the cook. I'll eat that later all by myself. There's a little bit of chocolate on the edge there, but that doesn't make any difference. Into the oven. <coughs> 